Hey there guys and welcome back. On today's show I'm going to show you how to use up some of your smaller pieces of scrap to make a fun little project uh, as a gift for some of your family and friends. Somewhere in the neighborhood of about 585 years ago, um, before the days of the internet, we used to have something that everybody used and that was called the Postal Service. And the Postal Service, believe it or not, used to come door to door and deliver envelopes that were sealed and inside these envelopes uh, you would have letters, checks, any kind of correspondence. And of course that may be unfathomable to some of you guys, but yeah, there was something before social media. But for those of you that can remember, I'm going to show you today how to use some of your scraps to make good old-fashioned letter opener. So the first step in making one of these letter openers is you want to figure out what your design is going to be. And for my particular one, uh, I've drawn out kind of like a, I guess like, like a hunting knife kind of a shape onto this piece of plexiglass. And the reason I'm using plexiglass is because, well, you guys know how much I love templates. And uh, I don't know how many of these I'm going to make, so for now, I'm going to make a template. And uh, that will help me mark it out. So you can either trace a knife that you already have, or you can go online. Uh, <laughs> there's that internet thing coming back in a retro uh, video. But uh, you can go online and Google images of um, knife silhouettes or something like that. And you can come up with a little design. But uh, this is what I've come up with. And now I'm going to go ahead and take this over to the scroll saw and cut out this template. Once you get your template cut out at the scroll saw, you can just take a piece of sandpaper and you just want to go in and just clean up any of these little edges on your template. Remember that your imperfections from your template are going to transfer over every time you use it. So uh, you want to just sand it up and make sure that you got nice smooth surfaces in here so that you can trace out these lines every time. And this is just a piece of 150 grit sandpaper. Um, you're not looking to get fine finishing done here. You just want to get your rough edges off so that your pencil or whatever you're using to trace this out is going to glide smoothly in your template. One thing I will caution you is while you're sanding this, uh, this thin edge heats up pretty quickly when you're going with the sandpaper and it's pretty easy to burn your thumb. So um, just take it slow and just give it a good sanding. Once you're done with that, then you can peel off your protective coating that these things come with and then of course from there now it's uh, it's time to pick out our stock. For this particular project you can use whatever stock you want and whatever species you want. Um, I would think though you might want to go with a harder wood like in this case for me maple or uh, oak maybe uh, walnut Whatever you want, you can laminate woods together, maple and walnut. It really makes no difference. But um, you're looking at a quarter inch thick. That's the thickness that I make these. And um, this is a junky piece that is sitting up on the wood rack and it really has no other purpose. Uh, there's not really much usable stock around here. But this particular end, um, even though we have some blade marks in it, I think that'll be just fine to make a couple of uh, these letter openers. So let's trace out the pattern and see what kind of placement we can get on this board. Well, if I wanted to do some creative placement, I could probably get three out of this piece. But seeing I'm only making one for the video's purposes, I'm just going to line up this one. So you want to take your pencil, and in this case, uh, I'm, this is a 0.7 mechanical pencil that I like to use. And you just want to trace out uh, your template. And, I mean, a trained monkey could do this. I seem to have a lot of trained monkeys in my videos. But anyway, so you just want to trace out this pattern. 
and once you get it all traced out and you're happy that you've got it all the way around just put your template aside and there we have our design I apologize for the Sun coming in and uh, making it hard to see but we haven't seen the Sun in a while it's been a long winter so I'm gonna take it anyway we're gonna take this over to the scroll saw now and cut this out I've got a number three reverse tooth blade in the saw and that might be a little overkill for this quarter inch thickness but yet I want to compensate for the hardness of the maple so a number three will do just fine and we're just going to start here and uh, we'll cut out this entire letter opener. We've got our letter opener cut and this isn't going to open anything the way it is. So we need to basically sharpen this blade here. And what I like to do is I like to mark the center all the way along this blade. Now this is a quarter inch thick and you guys know how much I like my anchor rules and normally I would just mark with the anchor rule. But what if you don't have one? Well, you've got your template. And this template is made out of 16th of an inch plexi. So if I lay this knife back in my template and then sit another piece of 16th inch plexi underneath, now we have this level here at 1 8th of an inch. And we can just take that and draw our center line just like so. And you can see there that we've got that line drawn in the center of our knife. Can you see that? You also want to draw it on the back side here. Now this isn't precise measurement so if you don't have anything to mark it with as far as getting your uh, 1 8th, just eyeball it. Just like that. That works too. Another option is when you make your template you can make it out of 1 8 inch thick hardboard and then when you place your knife or your letter opener into the hardboard you've already got a place to mark your center points around your blade and around the back end tip. So now we're going to take this over to the spindle sander and do some shaping. Well this here is the fun part of the project for me anyway and that is shaping the blade of our letter opener and essentially what you want to do with your spindle sander is lay your um, your letter opener on a slight angle and just draw it backwards along this spindle sander until it's sharpened um, the same of course with the other side you want to sharpen it but you want to be careful not to hook this tip into this turning spindle. Um, that could cause you some trouble and um, also don't forget your dust collection. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, flick on some dust collection and I'm going to start shaping this letter opener.
you can see there, there is our shaping. And you can see how fast I just did that. I didn't speed up this video because I wanted to see, I want you guys to see this in real time to show you how quickly that one side can be shaped into your blade formation. Now I'm going to take this section here down and uh, just shape that a little bit and uh, then I'm going to flip it over and of course I'm going to shape this side to match so that it's like a knife. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, I'll be right back. Well we have the initial shape of our letter opener done and I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I know the lighting isn't the greatest today but uh, I've shaped this area roughly here and I've shaped the blade here on both sides of course and uh, now we're just going to take some uh, 220 grit sandpaper and we're just going to go around and clean this up um, just to sort of take off any of the uh, irregularities that the sander has caused and it's, it's just a quick sanding again it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect um, but you want to try to get the blade as smooth as you can and uh, with, by doing that you'll find that it works a lot better for you um, if you've done this correctly uh, don't don't fool yourself in thinking that this is nothing more than a wood knife and that this edge here cannot cut you it sure as heck can so just be careful while you're sanding so I'm gonna go ahead and finish sanding this up and uh, give a little bit of uh, softening to these edges here for the handle and um, then I'll come back and see you and there you have it a letter opener probably takes about five ten minutes each to pump one of these out and uh, it's a great way to use up scrap it feels great in your hand and uh, you can see here in the picture it looks pretty cool you know you can put a finish on this and of course you know give it to your your buddies or whoever and if you're wondering how well this thing works well it works quite well you know so go ahead guys give it a try and uh, make yourself some letter openers for your family and friends and um, they're gonna love you for it uh, just as a disclaimer though these things don't open email thanks for watching guys see you next week with another woodworking video thought I was gonna forget that didn't you